poppin' playboys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be installing some tire letters on Dusty Man. We got this tire letters from uh, U20. So I don't remember. I'm just gonna put the link in the in the description if you guys wanna go purchase one. Um, I bought these for forty dollars. They they are from eBay, so I don't know how long they'll last. But this is why I'm doing the video. Plus, it's only forty dollars. It's not like I spent one hundred twenty dollars from like Treadwear or from uh, what's it called TireStickers.com. So I'm not really mad if this doesn't last that long. But uh, yeah, man, it should be a simple process of installing them. And there's a plane. So I'm going to show you guys how to install these tire letters under 10 minutes. And I'm going to do the fast and easiest way to be honest with you guys. So yeah, man, let's get it. So you guys like the new look of Dusty? Leave a like down below if you guys like the new tire setup. They look nice, boy. I, I'm digging it. And now I got these tire letters that I'm going to put on the car too. <sighs> Dusty about to look mean. She about to look so mean. All right, guys. So the first thing you guys want to do when installing tire letters is you guys want to make sure your tire letters not your tire letters you guys want to make sure that's all your tires are free from any like gunk or uh any tire shine so what i'm going to use is goo gone because this works really good to remove like tire shine or if you guys don't have goo gone you guys can use some type of form of degreasant just make sure you don't get it on your like clear coat or anything so yeah we'll get this tire clean <laughs> And you guys want to make sure you use a different rack when you're wiping so you just don't put more that goo gone or whatever you're using back in the car. So, you got another rack. And what I look for is to see if it gets dirty like this. So, yeah. Plus, these are fairly new tires, so they shouldn't have a lot of gunk on it anyway. But yeah, this tire's pretty good. Doesn't feel like anything's on it. All right, so now we're getting prepared to put the tire letters on. This is how they look. I feel like they're not gonna last that long, but it's definitely gonna look good for a while. Ha <laughs> ha. But uh, yeah. So what you guys are gonna do now? They have these little things. I don't know what they're called. Like those. What you're gonna do, you're gonna wanna get like a razor and cut them off, or you can just try to pull them and get them low as you can so they don't go under your uh, tire letters. So, yeah. That's what I'm about to do right now. All right, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna apply the super glue on the back of the tire letters and uh, get it on the car. Alright guys, so after you get one side done, what I'm gonna do is just push the car back and then I'll be able to get underneath it underneath it. So yeah, let's get to moving the car. Alright guys, so I didn't really think this through. I don't know how I'm supposed to fit through this and do it. I mean I probably could fit but you guys can't fit there so i mean the camera can't fit there so i'm just gonna do this one real quick and then uh show you guys how i'm gonna go do the front passenger yeah all right you guys so i got one side done it looks good so far i am gonna go back and touch up and lift up like spots like these and uh put more glue behind them just to make sure they stay on also when you're done putting on your tire letters to make them look a little bit cleaner 
you could grab some acetone and just wipe off like any dirt or like residue to, residue that you have left over on your tires from the super glue and then uh yeah man but right now bro these things look great especially with the with the yellow clippers clippers oh my gosh the yellow cal calibers they look amazing but yeah man now we got three more to go this one was actually the hardest because i had the wall right here so i should really snap on that that should be fire like this Ooh, yes sir all right so passenger front now oh we just finished the passenger back that came out freaking good i just gotta go back and lay down the parts that are lifting up but found my razor blade so what i'm gonna do now is do like i did to the last one and take off all those little stubbies and that's what they're called and uh yeah you guys don't really need a laser ah, you guys don't really need a razor blade to do this you guys just could pull it off but i'm gonna use a razor blade because it's easier also remember to always clean your tire if you guys don't clean it you guys might have some little tire letters that fly off while you're driving so i'm just gonna clean mine You guys don't have to clean the whole tire. You just get clean the spot that you're gonna put the tire letters on. So my spot's right here. All right, guys. So here's a tip: if you guys put your letters upside down, so you just flip it like this, it's easier for you to put it on the car because when you grab it, you can grab it from the tips and just lift it up and place it. So let me give you guys an example right now. So you can grab it from the top like this. Grab one side. Grab the other side. All right, man. So I got one side of Dusty done. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Drop a like down below if you guys like it. I think it looks freaking good, man. Especially because the yellow 595. It's gonna complement everything on the car. The yellow calibers, the yellow gold Marauder sticker, the Zuby sticker in the back. It just looks great, bro. So yeah, this is how Dusty looks on this side. Go show you guys the other side with no tire letters. What you guys think, man? It's a difference, huh? Big difference. Well, let's finish these two up and uh, get you guys a cinematic. All right, guys, so I'm gonna give you guys a little tip when you're doing your tire letters. So mine is not like the tire stickers or uh, treadwear type of tire stick letter thingy majiggy. Um, theirs come with like a like a transparent sheet that they put on top, and you just put the glue on and you stick it on the car and you remove it. Mine's not like that. Mine's just had to place the letters. So they do come out a little bit imperfection, a little bit imperfection. They do come out a little bit imperfect. So what I did was I try to stretch it as much as I can and lay it on the car. And uh, you do have a little couple seconds you can lift up and like re readjust it and move it around. But once you press it on there and it gets on there tight, don't try to lift it up because then you're just going to make a mess and it's going to look ugly. So uh, mine right here on the driver's side looks pretty good. So I'm going to keep going. And uh, yeah, that's my little tip. And uh, after, after you guys finish putting on your tire letters, you can get some acetone and clean up around the tire letters in case you guys put a little bit too much uh, super glue. But if you guys don't care because the super glue kind of blends in with the tire, and you can just leave it but uh yeah man let's finish this up all right so i hope you guys enjoyed our little cinematic edit um tire letters are on everything looks flush now just one side that looks like it needs a little bit more touch up and uh, super glue but I always could do that another day um, right now everything looks good you guys seen from the cinematics that's a big old fly boy but uh, yeah man if you guys like how the tire letters look please just drop a like comment subscribe whatever you guys want to do support the channel let's get Zuby up there but uh, yeah man it look fire Ooh, I never noticed how fire this look from right here sheesh but if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Your boy is out. Peace.